Hello. Welcome to our uh, Create With Us Live on Thursdays. These are what we're making today. Someone said, why do you always put cards in front of Tim? Well, looking at the screen, we're not sure where to put our hands. So <laughs> Karen, Karen is in the center. <laughs> Taking center stage. I'm, I'm, a side I'm trying to move over. But these are so cool. These are going to be so quick and easy. Look, these are envelope flap cards. Look how cool that is. We're going to be making a bunch of these today. But of course, Jan, your first time here, welcome. We love having you. Those of you on the replay, we love having you. If you come and just want to get to the cards, you just know you can just scroll ahead. But you know, first we like to chat a bit and uh, we've got mail. So um, we really go. So before we get to that, we'll do, let's do mail. I will. Talk about anything else first? Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do mail. <laughs> I thought there's always so much talk. Okay, we have... From Darla Nicholson from Pennsylvania. Oh, how fun is this? Love this little musical. Wow, how pretty is that? And then it's mm, on paper with music. It. Yeah, right. Uh, if I could read music, I could. I could read music. I just couldn't sing. If I had a piano, okay. I could play it. Do we read? <laughs> but how cool is that? Uh, fun card there. And it's stickers. Yeah, I got stickers. And then we've got from Suzanne. Henrik from uh, Minnesota, and uh, we just, we had lunch the other day. It's so fun. Suzanne's been a friend forever, and we haven't connected in ages, and she sent me this lovely little thank you card. Love this. Uh, this is that uh, stack, slice, and shuffle. Look how pretty that is, mm -hmm. and I love how she did the inside with the little scallop border. Just a gorgeous card. So stack, slide, shuffle, and what's, what's the inside? Is there an S word for... Uh, uh, shuffle, stack, slice, shuffle. It's, it's just really a three. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's so fun. Oh, from Heather Clump, one of my team members just, oh, is this fun? And she's just thanking me for another fun year in the fine line. Oh, Heather, you are amazing. And look at that. You are amazing card. That is beautiful. Love that. And all these fun little, um, uh, oh, from conversation bubbly things. Mm -hmm. That is adorable. Saying that you're a star. Yeah, I love that. That is fabulous. I'm going to sweet note inside that. I'll have to read it more later. Okay, Sandy Eby. Okay, Tim, you're going to love this card. Okay. Oh, she's a team member too from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see? Holstein. Oh, oh and there's a letter no, here. Okay. Herefords. Okay, this is, okay, I got to show the, we have a look at in this in the catalog. This is so cool. Is this what you grew up with? Is this the kind you grew up with? No, I have no idea. Mine are black and white. Uh, okay, I need the farm bundle. Where is it? Someone could probably find it before. Oh, here it is. Notice what she did. She, oh my goodness, why did she take off some? Stuff? Yeah, she colored, she removed the yeah. spots so she could make them her kind of cow. So what kind is it? I don't know my cows. Well, that'd be a Holstein if it's black and white. Okay, and Oh, she probably explains it in here. And this is a Herford. Okay, joke. Ah, da, 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 da. She cut the spots out. <laughs> that is fabulous. So she could make Herford, Herford cows wow. and calves. That is so cool. Okay, this is how to personalize something for exactly what you want. I love that, Sandy. That is a yes. fabulous. Sandy, um, I knew the answer without even looking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love that. And silo I love what she had the barn. silo barn that got the little flowers there. That is a fabulous card. I am so glad you guys, and that's, you know, when you talk about stamp surgery, that's what we're talking about. You really make it your own. But how fun is that? Absolutely wonderful. I lost your envy. Uh, that's okay. Uh, uh, Deb Witt, oh, you guys, I've got a bunch for my team this week. Uh, another team member. And how cool is this? Look at that. This is so fun. Deb is one of, I, I am partnering some of my team members because, you know, I really, one of my, my loves is just to really work, to work with my team. So I'm partnering with three of them and we're doing a retreat in February. So I, I, you know, you'll hear more and more about it, but I used to do retreats and I thought, what could be more fun than doing it alone? Doing it with some team members. And I love this. And look at the little flags. Isn't that a fun use of paper? Yeah. You do retreats by yourself? <laughs> well, the teaching part. So that will be very fun. And then we have Beverly Driver from Minnesota. Oh, and this is, oh, this is fun. And a thank you note from her. Look at this. And this is one of our favorite papers from before. And notice how she used a hole punch. 
I mean, the circle punch, <laughs> oh, punch a circle, punch, a large hole punch to make one of the sons yes. up there. Is that fun? Can I just say something? Uh huh. Um, is that Sandy? Um, I can actually go on a retreat and Karen will say, Is it time for dinner? Is it time for tea? I'll say, no, I'm on a retreat. Okay, you do that. By myself. You could go on a silent retreat. Yes. <laughs> and then from Shannon West from the home office. Okay, guys, how cute is She's this? Wonderful. Look at this. Congratulations on the side and the pinata. I love it. And it's congratulating me for earning the Mexico trip. So what? hopefully that will be the... What? You earned a Mexico trip? <laughs> and guess who I should be telling when I yes. do that? Because we should have, according to Tim... A celebratory yes. dinner. <laughs> so, and I forget, but how cool burrito. is that? Burrito. We're going to have burritos for supper. Okay, that is so cool. So that what's is the deal? such a cute card. We're going to Mexico? Yeah, and after, after. Earned, yes, so I've earned, earned that. Oh, I don't know, a while ago. Jeez. Isn't that fun? Oh, thanks to everyone on here and to my team. I just... Um, and to me, you didn't know. And to you, for all the, all the help you do for me. But how cool is that? That is so Shannon. fun. But that is, uh, Shannon, that is a gorgeous... Thanks card. for spilling the secret. So speaking of team, I did want to just say a couple of things. I mentioned the retreat, which would be really fun. And you can join us just online, or you can get the Make and Take Packet. You guys can join us from anywhere. Um, and there is such a great starter kit special on. I just put up, these are names, just first names of people that have joined my team. Not with me directly, but with anyone on my team. Uh, and so like anyone doing the retreat with me, if you buy the starter kit with them, you're part of my team too, which is, and we're going to have a party in, in uh, February. And I just wanted to say, people say, well, I don't want to sell. And I just want to, who is the starter kit for? I have a couple of ideas. Number one, if you're a new card maker, so you don't have a lot of things, this is a way to spread out your orders, get a discount. Um, if you uh, just have a long, long list, or if you're someone that sends out, some people send out, like I do, lots and lots of cards. It might be for cause. That might be for people at church. You go through a lot of supplies. Birthdays. Might as well get a discount. And if you like to teach, and you know what? I put teaching under, uh, if you like to share things with your grandkids, with a neighbor. Teaching does not need to be a formal class. I think a natural extension of what we learn to do is to share it with others you know, and so the big thing is why not? And if you're new, you can get this. Well, that's just my little blurb because I always want you to feel welcome. It is such a fabulous, um, fabulous opportunity. And there is no pressure. So just call me. So, um, oh, and the other thing I wanted to say that I love, you're going to see me talk about my, introduce you to more people on my team, and including people that might just do some local classes because I'd love to do shout outs to them. But I also just want you to know that most of my team, as I mentioned, really just buy for themselves, but they are also the best cheerleaders for those that are doing more. We just love sharing ideas, supporting each other. So it never, ever matters what any particular person wants. We're just a fun team. You know, every month we have a get together where people just stamp and chat and get to know each other. And then we'll have a, a, a business thing, Q&A for those that want to talk more business. So we just have, we have something for everyone. So I just had to point that out. And... Um, you cannot go wrong with this. And then the, usually when I, my card kits, they're for customers that spend 50 or more. And I did put a, a little video up yesterday on how to assemble them. These are two of the three cards. I'm also sending them this month to anyone who buys the starter kit. Cause I thought you just have some ideas to get started. And people in my team do anything I do online is free to them. Right, so when I do retreats, all good cards club, because I want them to have all the ideas, all the PDFs. So enough of that. And this weekend is the all good cards club. So did you say that my team does any anything that I do? I don't know what I said. I think you did. Oh, I mean, they're welcome to join me. Oh, okay. but, oh no. I mean, <laughs> they're just automatically included. Then, <laughs> I got to know. <laughs> then, Kathy's on here saying it's a great team. And so just never feel, you know, the first question you two and people call me is, I just don't want to sell or, you know, is it okay if I just, yes, I'm just telling you yes. And you know what? I just say, particularly... Most of us are women, our lives, and all of us, our lives can change tomorrow. So who knows what tomorrow brings? So it's all good. Uh, uh, so, and this weekend is also the All Good Cards Club. So we have a lot of fun together if you haven't joined. If Karen didn't do this, she would be a, a used car salesman because she <laughs> no, loves to no. sell. I do not love to sell. I love to teach and I love to, <laughs> together, we love to create community. That's why, I mean, we're just so... Don't you think? I mean, that really is our... Do you think they know that I sold used cars? Oh, so Tim tried. 
It wasn't good. Tim has never been a very successful wage earner, to be perfectly honest. And we had this friend who was a very successful used car salesman who really tried to teach Tim the ropes. Tim loves to talk with people. You guys know that if he calls you, he does not like to do anything on the bottom line. So it was an abysmal failure. But we love him. We love him just the way he is. <laughs> so... Huh. Kathy said, but I'm not a teacher. Hey, it, but I'm not talking about a teacher, teacher, like getting up and prepping a whole class. I'm talking about inviting a friend over to stamp with you. If you know one thing more and you, besides that, you teach each other. If you bring your craft over, you all know in the All Good Cards Club, I love nothing more than to learn something I didn't know from someone else's good idea. I am a forever student and a forever teacher. I think they just go hand in hand, but you just have a reason to be connected with another community, to get more ideas, to get more support, you know, so anyway call me and we'll chat. So that's all good. Um, and this will be a fun weekend to settle in. Do all good are, are, are we done? Or should I think we we have, why do we okay. have Christmas colors? On? I don't know. I guess we didn't get the memo to think about it. This is the host code. You can always find it at karentitus.com. If your order is 150 or more, you don't use this because you get the host benefits. But really, if your 100 orders 150 or more, you might as well buy the starter kit. So just call me. Okay, seven Valentines to Tim Titus. Okay, okay, he's going. Fax, fax them. Oh, but you want the real thing to hold them. Okay, so, so my last announcement. Did you know, so this is what I'm going to be making today, that when you go to my blog, for each of our Thursday Creative Lives, we have uh, downloadable project sheets. So you get all the information right there. You, If you're old school, you can download them, put them in a binder. Otherwise, you can download them on your computer. You can always go back and find them. So I just love that. So we are going to get started. First, I'm gonna, we're gonna look at these two cards. They're you know similar but different. So this is what an envelope flap card means. Do you see how the tuck-in part is on here? So it looks like a decorated envelope, but it pulls right out, opens down. And, and you're the words. And you open that one. <clears throat> and I think this is so fun. These are all from the He's the Man uh, designer series paper. It has two pages of all kinds of little die cuts like this. So there is no stamping on this. Think of all the different cards you could make. And how cool is this? And all you need is something that this can tuck into. So what I had you bring today. So this is the card we'll make first. We're going to make a few of these. Um... Oh, Joan gave a catalog to a middle schooler who wanted to make cards. You know, catalogs are a fun idea to just pass out and give. Okay. And this is what I'm going to show. If you, another way of also keeping your card supplies, I always say when you come to the lives, bring paper to start with that you don't care about. It's really just to get your pattern. And so this could be the pattern. So these are my pieces right here. I can take all of these from each week and also set them in. So you've got a couple of good options. The Downloads are really fun because you will see several ideas. And this is also great for the pattern. So this is what we're working with. So we are starting with a paper that is eight by four and a quarter. Or I mean eight, I mean eight inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to score it in the middle, which would be four. Now, I wanted to compare this. A typical card size, let's see, I don't think I have a typical. Um, what do you need? I just wanted to buy a full sheet of card stock anywhere handy. So just white or any other? Uh, any, but like half a sheet from my, you know, it's really okay. This is okay. A tip, typically, we're using eight and a half by five and a half, and then you fold it in half. And when you do, you're going to get this size. This is a full size card. You're going to notice by using these measurements, now when I fold it in half, this is going to be like the layered part. This is also, sometimes we'll do cards like this. If you want this part in white in particular, and you want to show some color, this way I have a white inside to write on. Yeah, that's okay. Um, uh, so sometimes we do this anyway, just as a way to look, but for this card, that gives you this nice border. The outside piece is, where did mine disappear to, is a quarter sheet of cardstock. So it is five and a half by four and a quarter. 
So if I had this doubled and folded, I'm hoping that that makes sense. That is why this part is a little bit smaller. Now, if this is confusing to you, another way to look at this, take your regular folded card in half, in half, and then you're just going to trim it. You're going to trim it to four inches there and five and a quarter there. So that's another easy way to remember it. So hopefully that makes sense. So we have these two parts. Then the only other thing we need is our square. That is three and three fourths inches by three and three fourths inches. So it's just a square piece of designer series paper. So set that aside. I should actually do like an elementary version after you done you've done your. Well, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna your have you I'm gonna have you do one of these. Sophisticated. Version. No, I'm gonna have you. You know what? I should have done another one of these so we could have created one from here. So I'm going to take. You're gonna be watching because you're gonna do the next one. You know. <laughs> Okay. So this is my square. I'm just going to Pay fold attention, it. Tim. I could score it, but since it's not, if it were cardstock, I'd need to. But since this is designer series paper, it's lighter. I can just score it and crease it. And then I am going to, on half of it, and you know, this will be the challenge over in the back porch stampers. We want to see what you do with this card arrangement. You'll see a ton more. So besides what I've seen today. And now how cool is this? This is what's going to close in the middle here. So this is gonna fit in like this. So I like to take it like this. Line up my front, get it in the center, and then push it down. Ooh. See, how cool is that? So this is the inside of my Look, card. Looks like an envelope. It looks like an envelope, yep. And then we're just gonna put that on a card base. Now this is the part to remember, and that's why this is all I put on the supply list because your accent piece, I'm gonna show you cards with all kinds of accents. You get to decide what your accent is. The only thing you need is for it to go longer over here, which you can always add a sheet of cardstock to do that. So does that make sense? So this is gonna be what I'm gonna put on. And now I need dimensionals. And Tim, I may need to send you to go hunt for dimensionals. Oh, I think there's some out here. Oh, I think there's some out here. I'm sure there's some out here, but I can't seem to find them. Oh, I found them. See, it's just a matter. It's just a matter of digging. Now, I'm going to put this. You're going to see this is going to tuck in here. So I'm going to put these on the lower bottom. So on this vehicle, this vintage automobile, the two wheels will be perfect. So I'll put one on that wheel and one on that wheel. And I'm just going to put it here. I just want, it just needs to cover enough to tuck it in. So it, it's not really going to matter. That'll, that'll stay. And then let's put a little bit of this on. Let's pick this little arrow just because it needed a little something more. Okay. And now you open that and close it just to see how it works. <laughs> Would you figure this out if somebody gave you a card mm -hmm. like that? It's pretty easy to figure out, isn't it? Yes, so, it is. And then you're just going to decorate the inside. How cool is that? Yeah, our stamp says it's all a matter of digging for supplies. That is so true. So I think that's so fun. And then with these two, I just took two different ones out for the inside. Now, notice this one's been done in white, and this one's been done in Sahara sand. Which do you prefer? I love that you can, you know, change these up and do anything. Do you have a preference? I like that one. Sand. Mm -hmm. And this one I built, built a road and I just added more detail. So I think that that's just pretty fun. But for simple, that's, that's very nice. And if you don't, if you don't look at it next to that. Now this paper also has the, the van, the, the vintage van would be really cute done like this. You know, I, we're going to see a whole bunch of ideas done like this. So here's our next set of three. So you can see I'm using all kinds of things. You can use words too. I'll show one with the words at the end, but I just absolutely love doing these. Now, how fun is this? Now, do you, now does one of these stand out more now, than the other to you? Looking at her or him, that person doesn't need words. That, that look speaks right. volumes. I know. Isn't that, and it's just like out having fun. And you'll see I did put on the inside here, rainy days are better with you. I like this one. And this one says rainy days are better with you. And this one, open that one. And that one says, oh, happy day. And you see how they all tuck in? And here again, this is a perfect thing to use because it's covering my area. So I don't need to put it on another shape. I can just put my dimensionals up here. Yeah, just like that. 
So I thought, how fun is that, that you can just make them all different? This is an envelope flap fun fold because it looks like an envelope flap tucked in. It's just like tucked in. Is that really cute? Okay. A bunch of you are liking what Tim does. Okay. So Tim, I'm going to let you work on this one. And, oh, you're in luck because that's the one I actually cut the papers out for. Sweet. And, and now you're going to notice if we're using the colored paper, the one thing that's different, like on the white, I don't, wouldn't need, I could just write right in here. On the others, I added a piece of white. So that, that um, you'll need to add, but it depends on your paper. But for your sample today, you don't need one. So, so you're going to take this and just fold that in half. <laughs> oh, uh, like a triangle, that corner to that corner. Yeah, but you have to score it or something. Because, oh, and I guess I don't. you just fold it in half? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. And you know what? You're not in luck because I just have white for this one. I don't have the other color, but it doesn't matter. I thought we've covered it all. Okay, you're going to do it. Okay, so this is the fine motor part. This is a great card to teach kids or if you work with kids, just another um, fun thing to do with them. And see, you get a little give in there. So it is really nice. You can. Um, okay. Yeah, it's your card, Tim. So it's well, fine. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. There, there's, no, there's no okay about it. It's just fine. Okay. okay. Now you're going to tape half of it. Yeah. Isn't this a fun fold? I think, yeah, cute and easy. These are the kind you can just make a whole bunch. Yeah, I think it's easier just to close it up and then start with the side that doesn't matter. Figure that and then press it down. Okay, so we'll work on that. But this would be easy to do in a classroom too. Um, Whoops, I already, oh man. <laughs> Watch out, because that sticks real quickly. Okay, yes, but that's fine. Are you happy with that? I'm happy. Okay. Okay, and then we're just gonna put it on this. But how easy is this? So just another great one to add for your, your fun fold things. <laughs> oh, good, who is this new to? That's always fun, it's just always fun. Cause sometimes we do, you know, goodies but oldies, sometimes we do. Um, it's new to me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't practice this, no rehearsal. So now that's so cool. And so now this, is going to go like this. You can see where I'm going to put the dimensionals right up there and then right by the feet. Do you want to do that? Or do you Ooh, want me to do that? No, I want to do it. Okay. Put one up by, so it's going on this side. We're going to have one by the umbrella because you're just thinking of leaving it loose in the parts and then one here. And then you'll just put it on. Oh, we're going to see. I can tell it right now. We're going to see a whole bunch of these cards in the back porch stampers. You're going to want to come over and check it out because this is really a good one. Okay, and then you're going to want it over it. So think in terms of I want to tuck it in, but not too hard to get out like your last time. Uh, yeah, like that looks perfect. And if you have any trouble getting the back in, I always just do this. Just fold your card a little bit and that slips right in. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? Stinking cute. Stinking cute. And then we do have a little cloud that we'll add later. So how fun is that? It is so simple, but so versatile. These would be cute for... Baby shower invitations. Would that one least be adorable? I mean, I can think of all kinds of things to do this for. And even a guy can make. Now let's go to uh, another style. I just have to find here. Let's do one a little differently. Let's go to florals now. Let's do it right side Okay. Up. With go. love. And this is also showing, this is what I wanted to use. I planned this part, Ooh. but it wasn't quite, I thought it might be just a little, Type. I, so I just wanted, so I just added this. So you could extend anything you want on um, just like that. But I think this is really fun. So now we're going for a totally new flower card. With some bling. And so with this one. Karen's going to do it. Okay. You, you want to you wanna turn it back to me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that looks complicated. Okay. So here is this and this. So this is my same. Remember, this is eight inches by five and a quarter, and we have it scored at four. So it, it is no, well, and I, we're not gonna worry about that part. All I'm going to do is fold this over so you can see how you can get really, I'm just gonna say, you can see how you can get really fast at doing this and then I slow down. Okay, I just made my, <laughs> or you could slow down. I'm going to do that. I am going to 
add this. Uh, I only did one. Now, if I were making a bunch of these, you would do them in parts. You, you could um, you do all the scoring, you know, you get them all to a certain point. That's just an easy way to do it. I'm going to put this. So I'd get them all to this point, all lined up. I'd have all these lovely cards. And then I would work on this part. So now by itself, you know, you, you kind of want something to hook right there. So here are my pieces. Oh, and I did want to show, look how many, I'd shown this before, but I anything that I'm cutting, so I have the same now with these punched flowers. Anything that I'm punching out, I have little baggies. So they're there ready to use whenever I need things. But you don't want to use a fox or a piggy for that one. No, that just wouldn't quite go. So first, I'm just going to do that. I like this little love. Just going to put a little with love on here. It actually looks like it's part of that other paper that's slit, slit and slide through. It does, doesn't it? It does. This is from the Regency Park paper. And this is actually, this and the bundle that goes with it are going to be used for the make and takes for our retreat. And you're going to be seeing tons of ideas. And so they're going to be all different ideas from this, but this is just to get your appetite. I know it's another flower set, but oh my goodness, what you can do with it. And I love that you can do punches. Now this little one needs a, okay. Ooh, it's a little one. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to put that one in. So this is how I did it. First, I had this plan, but it did feel a little too tight and just a little too in the middle. Wouldn't you, would you agree? And then I just thought, oh, by slipping this under, yeah. it takes it to a much more finished look. So I'm just going to put this in the middle. And then I will just put the dimensionals on the yeah, ends. Pop it up. And popped up. And of course, then we add gems. And I don't have the gems right here. But I just think, how how fun is that? So, oh, and well, this one, it helps if you take the tabs yes. off. <laughs> and open it up once, just to show. Okay. okay. Yes, and this fits in a regular envelope. The card base is five and a half by four and a quarter, just like a standard card would be. And we've just made the, the layer over it. Um, a little bit smaller. So isn't that fun? So that's just really, okay, let's do another one. Uh, and then yes, go ahead and ask any, any more questions. Let's see, I've got one more to do and then another one to show. Okay. I, I, again, you, when I do really quick cards, I often, well, you know, I often do things that aren't a lot of stamping and I thought this is just really lovely again. So this is, whoa, this, I have things dropping around here. Um, well, oh, here. Let's see, I need two more pieces. I'm going to show you words for the last card after this because you can always use sentiments too. But I just love using something that's a part of the part of the whole card here. So we're doing these fun ones first. I'm going to add this. And again, so quick and easy. And really, you probably only need that one on because it's all going to be know. under here. So, yeah. So you're saying it worked with I, I'm doing more work than I need to, that you figured no, out an easier way. I forgot <laughs> to do that. No, no, but you're See, probably now this is way. the reason why you don't have to. Right. You're going to cover it up. See, you were just thinking of that, and I wasn't. I'm was just no. covering all my bases. So maybe you're the speedy stamper after all, and I'm not. No. <laughs> okay. This is a wash and flowers, one of my absolute favorite papers. So our new all name time. is Speedy Stampers on the Back Pole. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that would be the day. Okay. So I just looked on here. There's all kinds of different floral arrangements. And I cut these too short. They, they came longer. But I didn't want it to interfere down here and just didn't look so, off-centered. So you did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. Good. Yeah. And you really can't tell no. looking at it because I'm just looking for things that fit here as my accent. Oh, it's a great for using up uh, your DSP too for all this kind of stuff. You're right. And you know, this could be, this could be any, any shape here and anything that you stamped. So I'm just showing some quick DSP ideas. Stand for again? Do you know? No, I don't. That's what I'm asking. Designer series paper. paper. Yes. And it's good because paper. it's, you know, it's kind of like a stamping up lingo. I got to kind of watch that. And then I'm going to put that on. 
And how cool is that? And again, this will just open. I didn't put words on the inside, but this could be anything. But um, anyway, how fun is that? I think it's all right. Oh, Sean said she just found her Valentine design. This would be cute for Valentine's. Oh, for sure. And then I wanted to show, here's just a basic one, study in blue. If you just want to do words, use up paper. Any words are going to fit. Mm. And I thought that's just really, it's cool paper. It's cool paper. And um, so it's just anything you want. And so if you notice this, I love that this can be this way, like this is, these are this way, but these go this way. Any card design, you look at it, almost all of them can be turned around. So always think about that. So if you have words that go this way, but you could also look at this. If you want to stamp, you could stamp any image that would fit on here going this way or this way. And this could be an image stamped and colored instead of words. So these are all, all just a variety of ideas. So I hope you like this and I can't wait to see what you do now on the back porch stampers. Let me know if you need anything. Um, I'll see a bunch of you in all good cards club. And this is what we do. We hang out and we make cards and we meet three times and it's only $15 and it's really a lot of fun. So come join us and then retreat, but let me know whatever you have questions for it. Thank you everyone. Say something. Uh -huh. That you want the last word. I do. Uh -huh. That thing right there is not full. It looks like oh. it's full, oh. but it's not full. We can rearrange ah. that, tighten it up. Tim would love to. Or get a bigger piece of yeah. tag board. And, and Tim would love to send you a welcome packet. So that's all yes. wonderful. But thank you, everyone. <laughs> this was really fun. Uh, oh, and one last thing. If you're on my email list, you know, you get the supply list early and you get a new card tutorial. Early and often. So you just want to make sure you're signed up for that too over at KarenTitus.com. But thanks, everyone.